A live look over Lake Norman, Queens Landing. You see the flag moving in the wind a little bit. We have light wind out of the south, but take a look. Partly cloudy skies, a little warm, a little muggy. Surprised we're not seeing more boats out there on the lake, though. We're going to have a lake forecast coming up in a little bit. Beautiful sunrise over our Arlington camera with Uptown getting lit up by the sunshine. Some partly cloudy skies passing through with temperatures in the low 70s. It's a warm and muggy start to your day, much like previous mornings that we've had. 73 for Charlotte, Monroe, 74 out towards Wadesboro, Rockingham. We're we're still looking at 62 degrees for Boone. Jefferson now matching Boone in the 62 degree level. You're looking at 68 for Morganton and Shelby. Continuing to see the temperatures today that are slowly taking a dip, which will then start ramping up as we head into the afternoon. Highs getting to about 90 degrees this afternoon for the Queen City Concord. Albemarle looking to peak in the upper 80s. Low 90s on tap for today for Wadesboro, Rockingham. Shaw can get to 94 while we're looking more in the way of the upper 70s towards Boone and Jefferson. No longer getting into the 80s for our mountain counties. Nashville looking at 88 degrees as well as Atlanta. Miami, Orlando at 90. While Boston and, and uh, up towards New York gets up towards 90 degrees. You're looking more in the way of triple digits towards Oklahoma City and Dallas. Still mostly clear along the eastern seaboard while we still have some of those storms impacting parts of central and eastern Kentucky. Really some of the last conditions they need after combating that heat yesterday. We still see mostly dry conditions close to home while we still hold on to the afternoon rain and storm chances. Very summer like pattern taking hold here first. I think the storms stay focused towards our mountain counties heading into Saturday. We start off mostly dry and then bring more of that moisture again, more widespread scattered showers for Saturday afternoon and evening that tapers off and then Sunday starts off dry heading into the afternoon. You have another round of storms, so that's the summer like pattern that we hold on to your flooding risk for today, mainly in the mountain counties with the yellow showing a medium risk for flooding. The Piedmont and foothills look under the green, which shows a low risk for flooding as we can get to anywhere of a, maybe a third of an inch to maybe half an inch of rain up towards our mountain counties north of I 40. It's the abundant amount of moisture in a short amount of time that could lead to pooling and ponding on the low road, uh, low lying areas. 30% chance of showers and storms for the second half of your days. That's really the summer like pattern that takes hold and the temperatures are seasonable as well. We expect to be around 90 degrees this time of year. We're going to be right around that heading into the weekend with overnight lows in the low 70s, upper 80s as we finish off the weekend. Partly cloudy skies just about every day for the weekend and into next week where we're going to have those temperatures leveled off in the low 90s, which is slightly above normal for this time of year. Those intermittent rain and storm chances lasting until early next week, which again is going to be very summer like here heading into next week. Guys.